My heart and soul have always been with you, even when I couldn't fully express it. Watching you cry the way you did was one of the most painful experiences I've ever had. It felt like I was helpless, standing by as someone I care so deeply for suffered. Every time I look at you, I see someone who seems almost too good to be true, like a dream, someone who is perhaps out of my league. I often wonder how I was lucky enough to cross paths with you, and how incredible it would be to actually unite with you, to share my life with you. These thoughts have consumed me more times than I can count. I know that, right now, you are dealing with me in a somewhat distant and cold manner. It's understandable, given everything I've put you through. It hurts me to see this change, but I also know that I'm the reason for it and that makes it even harder to bear. Sometimes, I feel completely lost when I think about how things have changed between us. I can see the sadness in your eyes, and I can sense the pain you're carrying. You try so hard to conceal it with your direct words, with the strength in your actions, but I know you too well. Deep down, beneath the surface, I know what a beautiful soul you have. That's why, Despite everything, I continue to look up to you. Your kindness, your compassion, these are things that have always drawn me to you. I also know that all the pain and heartbreak you've experienced over the years have caused you to close yourself off just a little bit. It's as though you've built this protective wall around your heart, a shield to guard yourself from further hurt. I get it. I understand why you're hesitant to express your feelings openly. You've been hurt, and you're not about to let it happen again. I can see that you're determined not to make the first move, not to reveal too much of what you're feeling until I step forward. Your strength, your willpower, it amazes me. You're holding your feelings back, waiting for me to show you that I'm serious, that I'm ready to take the lead. And honestly, I admire you for that. But I can't help thinking about how beautiful it would be if we were finally together, if we could move past all of this and share something real. Deep inside, I know you still hold love for me. I feel it in the way you look at me, even if you try to hide it. But I also know you're not ready to take that first step. You're confused, unsure, and I can sense it in how you react to me. I completely understand your hesitation. That's why I haven't been pushing you or trying to force things. I respect your feelings too much to do that. I know it's my turn to take the lead, to show you that I've grown and that I'm ready to take responsibility for what I've done. As a woman, you've already done so much in this relationship. You've played roles that, honestly, I should have taken on. You've been the strong one when I should have been there for you. But because of my own insecurities, my struggles with self-worth, and my fear of rejection, I always stayed back. I let my fears hold me back, and that's something I deeply regret. Looking back now, I can see how wrong I was. I see how much I've hurt you, and I hate that I allowed my own issues to get in the way of what we could have had. But through it all, it's you who has made me stronger. You've helped me grow, made me wiser, and taught me how to be more comfortable with my emotions. You are not just any other person to me. You are my empress, the one who knows how to love and nurture, how to stand up for what is right, how to handle toxic people and difficult situations with such grace. You manage to be both sweet and gentle, yet bold and direct when the situation calls for it. You're everything in one, and I want you to know that I see all of that in you. Never doubt yourself. You are an incredible person in my eyes. It was me who wasn't as strong as you, who lacked the courage to step up when I should have. Instead of accepting my faults, I projected them onto you, letting my ego take control. I know now that was wrong, and I am ashamed of the way I treated you. You deserve better, and I hope I can become the person who can give you that. I'm ready to take that first step, to lead with confidence and show you that I've changed. 
You mean more to me than words can express, and I want to prove that to you, not just in words, but in actions. I hope, when the time is right, we can finally be together, just as I've always imagined. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while now. There's something heavy on my chest that I need to confess, something that I've been hiding from you for far too long. For the longest time, I thought walking away was the right thing to do. I convinced myself that life would bring me peace and happiness if I just moved on, focused on other situations, or even found comfort in other people. But I was completely wrong. Everything I thought would bring me solace has only made me realize how misguided I was. The grass, as they say, isn't always greener on the other side, and I learned that the hard way. I made terrible choices. In rejecting you, I rejected the most genuine, purest soul connection I have ever experienced. I realize now that what we had was irreplaceable, and I've come to understand just how rare that kind of bond truly is. I thought I could just walk away and build a better life for myself, but instead, I feel like the universe is punishing me for the way I betrayed you and abandoned something so special. It's as if I'm paying for my mistakes by being left in this emptiness, constantly longing for what I once had but foolishly let slip away. There's nothing left in my life that gives me the same sense of pride or fulfillment. I used to feel so lucky, and I would tell everyone, whether it was my friends, co-workers, or even random people I happened to meet, how fortunate I was to have someone like you in my life. You loved me with everything you had, without any conditions or reservations. You saw the best in me, even when I couldn't see it in myself. But now, that feeling of pride and happiness is gone. There's no one by my side anymore. Actually, that's not true. You're still the one I think about, but I know I've lost your trust. I know I've lost your love because of my own actions, my anger, my rudeness, and, most of all, my pride. I was so blinded by the pursuit of money and success. I thought that achieving wealth and status was the ultimate goal, that it would bring me everything I needed. But in chasing after those things, I lost sight of what was truly important. I let greed take over, and in doing so, I pushed you away. I didn't choose you when I should have, and now I see with painful clarity that everything I was chasing was temporary. All the material things, the success, the status, it's all fleeting. The only thing that's real and lasting is love, and that's what I lost when I let you go. Please, I beg you to accept my deepest regret. These days, I've been crying over you more than I can bear. I cry when I see you moving on, heading in a new direction without me. It terrifies me, the thought that I might have lost you forever. You are my everything. No one else fits with me like you do. No one else has ever accepted me for who I am, flaws and all, the way you have. You are the one person who could see all my imperfections and still love me unconditionally. I miss the warmth of your presence more than I can put into words. Karma has a way of catching up with people, and I feel it every day. I've lied to you so many times about my feelings. I told you to leave me alone when, deep down, all I ever wanted was for you to stay. I ignored your calls, your messages, your attempts to reach out to me, and now, it's your silence that's teaching me the most painful lesson of all. It's true, karma has left me completely empty. I used to be the one pushing you away, but now I'm the one longing for you. I'm the one suffering, waiting for a sign, a message, anything from you to tell me that there's still a chance. But where are you now? I wonder if you've already moved on, if I've lost you for good because of my own foolishness. Every day, I live with the regret of my actions. I let my ego, my ambition, and my desire for wealth blind me to the one thing that truly mattered, our love. Now, all I have left is this aching feeling of loss, the knowledge that I might have destroyed the best thing that ever happened to me. 
I miss you deeply, and I hope, from the bottom of my heart, that you can find it within yourself to forgive me. Even if I don't deserve it, I'll keep hoping that somehow, there's still a chance for us.